Hey guys, I'm Brandon from Tailwater Outfitters, and today we're going to be tying the bump and bunny. So first we're going to start our thread. Uh, you can kind of start anywhere on the hook with this. Um, and we're going to come back to about where your thread is hanging on the hook point. Uh, and we'll show you guys, we are tying today with the Tiempco 600 SP. It's a size one. Um, I like to tie on these bigger bait fish hooks, especially because sometimes this fly ends up in my tarpon box. Uh, and this is a really, really nice hook if you're going to stick, you know, small to big tarpon. So I'm going to actually cover just a little bit of the back of the hook uh, with some thread here. Uh, and then we are going to take a piece of hard monofilament uh, from Scientific Anglers or Mason or anybody at Rio that makes hard mono. Um, and I'm actually going to mash down the front edge of that, kind of bend it up just a little bit so you can kind of tie it in a little easier. Uh, and I'm going to tie this in straight on top of the hook going back and you can tie it all the way back to you'll see kind of where the hook starts to turn away from you. Um, about right here or so um, and we're gonna tie in about right there come back to the front just get this good and covered up with thread so it doesn't slip out and the next thing I'm gonna do is take some magnum rabbit strip um, in white uh, white is definitely my favorite for snook uh, and the occasional throw it at tarpon as well uh, I'm gonna wrap that rabbit strip in moving forward on the hook and once you get it kind of locked in, I'm going to take the back hide of this rabbit strip, pull it down, uh, and you can just notch a hole in it with the hook. You can use your bodkin or your scissors or whatever, um, but this helps keep it, keep your tying kind of uniform to use the shank of the hook. And I'm going to mash that hard mono through the hole you just made. And then we're going to wrap that in right over top of the rabbit strip. Get those fibers out of the way. Now the important thing here before you really lock down this mono is you want to make sure that it's got just enough length that it's kind of propping up your rabbit strip, but you don't want enough length that that rabbit strip can slip down below the loop. Um, so you can still kind of manipulate this, pull some in tight and see how I have it propped up there. That's about what you want. Uh, I'm going to wrap, just because I like, I think it adds some durability, uh, I'm going to wrap that down the hook shank and then you can trim out your excess. Um, the next piece we're going to add is some UV polar chenille and pearl. So I like to tie this stuff in going back towards the tail and then we're going to palm her in about five or six wraps of this. This stuff does a really, really good job of grabbing onto other materials and just kind of blending flash into the fly. Uh, so it's not very loud, but it also is, is good enough that it's going to add flash all the way through the fly, which I really like when I'm throwing for snook. Uh, so I'm going to palmer this through and you can pull all these fibers back as you wrap forward. We're going to throw a couple wraps right over top of this at the end. Sometimes I don't wind you on the hackle plier, that's okay. So once you get it five or six wraps or so, you can trap it. Uh, and then I like to leave all that flash on there and I'm just going to pull everything back and just make a couple of wraps coming back so you see how that flash kind of falls back into the rabbit strip, that's what we want. Um, and you can wrap straight up to where your tying point is. And then we're going to cover that flash uh, with some Arctic foxtail hair in white. Uh, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tips of the Arctic fox and I'm going to lay it to right where it's covering up the tips of the flash. And I'm just going to kind of roll it all the way around the hook so that arctic fox is covering 360 degrees of that hook shank. You can tie it in and I'm going to wrap back to about where I tied off that flash at. So you can spend some time combing out that arctic fox if you want, but we're really going to cut out most of that stuff. And it's not really going to add a lot of bulk, it's just enough to kind of keep that flash in place and it, it helps keep that flash from fouling as well.
clean that up just a little bit. So the last material we're going to use uh, is EP Minnow Head in white. Take a strand of that brush, and they usually come to where there's an extra long wire when you get a brand new brush. I'm going to trim some of that out because you don't really need all of that wire. Um, you just need a good hair of it uncovered with the material. I'm going to trim that in on the top. Uh, and typically from EP, this brush is, is pretty thick um, compared to some of their other brushes that we have from them. So you don't need a lot of this stuff on the hook. So I'm just going to wrap over about three or four times, maybe five if you have a long hook shank to work with, but three to four is usually good. So there's two, three, four. And when I come back up, I'm going to trap that right there. You should be around your hook eye there. I'll pull everything back. Wrap over it a couple of times just to really lock it in place. Come in with your flush cutters. These are a great investment if you don't have a pair yet. Keep your scissors from doling up. Um, and then at this point, I'm just going to brush out that EP minnow head brush just to get kind of all those trap fibers out. And I'll pull everything back and make a few more wraps. Make sure you get that wire covered up at the front, otherwise it'll cut your, your thread off is the biggest part there. You can pull some of these wayward hairs out. Uh, and then I'm going to whip finish. I like to, especially with these flies, sometimes when you're on the beach, um, they'll get chewed up by ladyfish and stuff. I think a double whip finish will help make, uh, make it a little bit more durable, so I'll wrap it one more time. And that worked out A-OK. -okay. Trim that loose thread out. Oh boy. Good thing we already whip finished that. There it is. Maybe we're just going to one whip finish this fly. One whip finish it is out, Adam. Um, and at this point, before you put your eyes on, so your eyes are really going to flatten the profile of this fly. So I'll come in and just kind of trim any fibers that don't look real good. I'll just kind of trim it at an angle coming back to where the bait fish is. Um, basically with EP fibers, if you have a fiber that's going to make you mad now, it's going to make you mad when you're on the water. Uh, so it's 100% worth trimming out. Hi everyone, my name is Brandon and I can't whip finish a fly. Let's try this one more time. No need to panic, we'll just put another one on there. Should I use the tool? Maybe I should use the tool. There we go. That one's gonna sit. All right, so you can trim, your, uh, trim those fibers up just a little bit. And the last thing we're going to do is take these EP eyes. Um, these are six millimeter EP bait fish eyes. Uh, and you're going to, they come with a little post on them as you can see. You're going to want to kind of trim that off. And I like to trim them fairly flush because I'm really going to push this eye into the shank of the hook. I'll show you here. You trim with your flush cutters and it gets a, a nice flush look for you. Um, so then what I'm going to do is just coat the back of this eye with super glue. This is old super glue. And you're going to push that into the brush. I'm going to glue my fingers together.
And then I like to use my scissors to push that down on the shank of the hook. Do the same thing on the other side. If you've got some glue that wants to be extra ornery on you, you can just put it on the fly instead, which is what I should have done the first time. Mash that flush with your scissors all the way to the shank of the hook. And that eye won't move at all once that glue is dried. So you see how there's not really any give to that eye. It doesn't move very much. That's the, the profile we're looking for. Come back and trim in any wayward fibers one more time because like I said, those eyes will really kind of push those fibers around. And you are ready to go. Snook fish with the bump and bunny.